Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Raghavan Mistra and in this video we will learn how to call a JavaScript function from within Selenium web driver and also learn how to inject JavaScript on web page from Selenium script. So let's create one class and see how it can be done. JavaScript test. This is my class and let me copy the existing uh, code to initialize the web driver. Okay, and now what we will do here, like uh, since we are going to call this URL, so we have to just make sure that uh, there is a JavaScript uh, function call is made uh, on the web page, okay, uh, and that will of course be associated with one of the web element, right? So sometime uh, when there is a scenario, uh, when there will be no unique attribute given uh, for that uh, web element, so there uh, there is JavaScript function associated. Uh, with that element on the web page so rather than identifying the web element and uh, uh, performing the action on that we can call javascript directly javascript function uh, which will eventually you know do the same thing so let us take this uh, as an example and see these are uh, two buttons right and if i click on this it actually uh, gives me good morning and if i click on this it actually calls some some javascript must be associated with it with it so we have to make sure uh, there is a some javascript function call is being made so yeah you can see this on on click event right and we are calling you know, these two function so we are going to call uh, these function rather than you know identifying this web element okay we can uh, see if there is any uh, javascript associated with that web element and we can directly perform the javascript we can execute the javascript function itself rather than you know identifying the web element and performing the action on that okay so let us consider this as an example and uh, do uh, call that javascript which is associated associated with those two buttons so javascript so this is going to be my interface javascript executor okay so this is the interface and what it does uh, like uh, that helps basically this is an interface that helps us to execute javascript through selenium web driver okay so so since it is a interface and we cannot uh, call the method uh, from the interface right directly so we have to typecast it with the driver reference variable so we can typecast it and we need to import it we need to import javascript executor interface to this so let me import and then we can call execute let me remove this and in import it properly yeah javascript executor yeah so we have to call execute method execute okay execute script so we have to put one more bracket here and then execute a script and then uh, the argument which we have to pass here is nothing but the javascript function okay so i will pass this function and then yeah you have to also make sure that uh, this javascript is particular uh, javascript or javascript function uh, basically is there on the default uh, frame or if it is inside some iframe then you have to switch to that iframe also just inspect and just make sure this is not inside uh, any iframe if it is then you have to uh, switch to that iframe so yeah you can see that it is uh, inside iframe okay so now uh, what you have to do you have to switch to that iframe so driver dot switch to and then you have to switch to the frame you can give name or id of that iframe and you can execute so let me execute job one more uh, there is one more call i could see good evening so i will also execute this okay here i'm gonna call this function so let me add it one more time So this time you can uh, also try with a different syntax basically both are same so rather than actually typecasting like that so we can actually go ahead and uh, 
typecast like this and we can call that method okay so driver so this is another way of actually calling the same thing so i will actually call javascript execute and i will call this method this time okay so we are going we are going to call this good morning and good evening and we can put some weight also to see like if it is actually doing the need for okay i will remove this for now okay so let me add some weight here thread dot sleep for maybe one second and let me add yeah so that interpret exception is already added and i will actually now run this java application and see what happens so this has launched the url and it has to click on the it has to execute that uh, javascript which is associated with the in the morning button it is still loading the web page yeah see it has clicked on the good morning in the good morning in the evening so these two buttons we have we are not uh, we have not identified the x path or any kind of you know uh, uh, a locator right for uh, these buttons rather we relied on the javascript and we actually executed the javascript through javascript executor interface okay execute script uh, method we invoked and it has actually uh, executed that javascript okay now uh, what if i want to you know uh, inject some kind of you know uh, javascript any javascript and uh, say suppose i want to highlight the you know text or button on which is available on the page right through uh, through javascript so let us see how we can inject so i'm suppose i'm injecting i want to highlight this button um, which is available on this uh, url on the, this web, web page so i'll uh, go ahead and uh, actually get the xpath of this maybe yeah and here you can see that id is there right so let's see how we can do that so for that i will actually go ahead uh, uh, to some this uh, some site and uh, get the code for that so uh, you can go to this uh, c sharp corner or any website right you want so there is some 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 javascript uh, call so this is uh, that argument which you have to pass to that uh, script and uh, let me just copy this and we'll make use of this on our class file in our selenium script so i will pass this because i want to execute this particular javascript on my element and then i will pass that element where i want to you know execute this javascript okay so this i want to execute on some element right so i have to pass that element also so let me identify it can be my button text anything all right so i i want to highlight this button get your own website so for that i have to get the xpath or i can identify that element right through id name xpath css so this is how you can do that so since we are inside the iframe so either we have to go to the switch back to the default content or we can execute this on top of i mean just before switching to the iframe so let it highlight first let it get executed first and then we'll see let us run and see what happens so in java application i'm just executing the class again and see it is highlighting get your own website and it has clicked on these two okay so this is highlighted with the red i can change it to anything i want let's change it to 10 and then let's change it to the blue okay so those syntax and permission is all already available so you can change these attribute right and the border and other things right all those styles let me execute it again let me execute this class again and see if it is highlighting with the blue now it is still loading the page once it is loaded then it will perform those actions and it will call the javascript 
which is associated with those two web element yeah see it has executed and injected both right it has injected the javascript uh, that code and it has on the that web element which we have provided and it has also uh, called those javascript functions so that is how you can uh, call the java function javascript function and also inject the javascript onto your web page from the selenium uh, script okay so i hope you have liked the explanation if you have liked the explanation please do subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video and share this channel with your friends and i will see you in next video thanks for watching and keep learning